Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, let's talk a little bit about the privacy in Windows 11 and um, you know I got a lot of questions and a lot of comments on my post of last week about the differences in the privacy settings between Windows 10 and Windows 11 and for those that hate Windows 10's privacy settings and the fact that you can't turn off telemetry stuff like that um, I said technically there's really no difference in Windows 11. And of course, it always brings back a debate of, you know, snooping and uh, Microsoft is trying to sell our data and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and Microsoft um, with Bing, possibly, but, um, you know, that some personal information is sold for advertisement purposes. But in general, Microsoft is not an ad company. It's not Google. Google is way worse in doing that. Google is really the number one company for, you know, selling data and using your data because that's the model of Google. That's the way it works. That's the 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 the, the way comp the Google works to make money. It's a big ad company, you know. It's it's not a search engine, it's a big ad company. As for Microsoft, you know, except for the Bing side of things, it isn't an ad company and all it does is really just want to sell its products and services so it's you know i uh, if 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 someone were to have problems with companies i have much less problems with the way microsoft works than than google uh for example of you know just the privacy settings and 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 what it's for um you know, a, a lot of people are uh, don't trust Microsoft and so on. And and there's been times in the past where Microsoft didn't really shine very well. They, you know, when they had the like, antitrust and everything. Uh, but Microsoft is a different company, first of all, today. Second of all, um, a lot of people are in the impression that they're snooping on your files, documents. Um, you know, it's something that I always find funny when somebody says, well, you know, they snoop on your hard drive to look at what you're doing. They don't care. They want you to use Windows. They don't care what you do with it. They just want you to use Windows. That's the important thing for them. And when I hear somebody saying, well, you know, it's like, you know, they, they, they snoop on your files, why would they? And, you know, it's always that same debate. And, of course, there's always uh, the extreme side of things where people are not, um, you know, don't, they, they're sure that you know there's there's some uh, you know snooping around and, and sharing information with governments and stuff. Um, the thing is, is whatever you think, um, privacy settings in Windows 11 are pretty much the same in Windows 10. Um, they're not snooping on your files, and they don't care what you're doing. And I have absolutely no problem leaving my telemetry on, my stuff on. Who cares? Um, it, it, you know, what are you doing in life exactly that is such a big problem that they're snooping on you? Um, they're not snooping on you, first of all, and that's the thing. It's they're just, you know, using telemetry, sending information. It's anonymized. Whatever you believe it or not, that's the way it is. And if it was the case of snooping, would be so intense. Enterprise would have moved away from Windows a long time ago, because the first places where snooping is something that is not wanted is business. So it gives you an idea that, you know, if there was such extensive snooping, uh, businesses wouldn't be with Windows. The other thing is a lot of you are, you know, like, well, um, you know, are, am I going to be detected for my pirated games and software? First of all, if you use pirated games and software, you're a thief, you're stealing. That's all. Case closed. I have no respect for people like that. I have no respect for people that steal software. The answer to this question, no, they're not. And it's not, they're not going to do it in Windows 11. Like I said, Microsoft doesn't care what you do. As long as you run Windows, it's the only thing you want to create, to have money coming from that side of their business. So no, they're not going to snoop and start, you know, uh, checking out if you have pirated software and so on. They don't do that. Uh, at all. And, uh, you know, like I said, running pirated games or software is just stealing. And uh, like I said, 
got no respect for that. For the uh, other questions of privacy, uh, anonymized uh, stuff, you know, a lot of people um, kind of read, you know, not, not everybody, like most people will not read the little fine print, um, and, but the people that do come up with often their own version of the fine print, meaning that, well, here it says in that paragraph that they can identify you by, no, the anonymized way of Microsoft doing its um, diagnostics, for example, is simple. They're not, they can't pinpoint it's you at home, where, which user. They only can pinpoint it's number 4634B99X4 that has a problem. But any employees at Microsoft, anybody that looks at that, there's no way to trace it to a specific person. And a lot of people are saying, well, yeah, but they do say that they can, yeah, because that is a user. That number is a user. But that number doesn't, um, isn't tied to you or your account. It's really anonymized, but whatever you believe or not. Um, like I said, Windows 11 and Windows 10 are at the same place. I am not at all worried about snooping or any problems like that with Windows 10 or 11. And, um, you know, there's way worse. Um, just check your smartphone and uh, come back and say that Microsoft is a bad guy. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.